If you are looking to fine tune a stable diffusion model on your own images, then maybe have a look at this project called as Simple Tuner. In this video, we are going to install the Simple Tuner on our local system and then we will also fine tune the stable diffusion free medium model, which I already have covered in great detail on various videos on my channel. So if you could just search stable diffusion 3 medium on the channel, you should be able to find it from various angles. But for the purpose of this video, we'll be focusing on this simple tuner. We are going to clone the repo of it and then we will go through its fine tuning process. If you don't know what stable diffusion or diffusion models are, they use a process called as diffusion to model the generation of data such as images or text. In a diffusion model, the data is gradually refined and transformed from a random noise vector to the final output through a series of iterative transformations called diffusion steps. The diffusion process is typically defined as a sequence of transformations that progressively modify the data such as adding noise to the data, blurring or diffusing the data, refining the data through a series of transformation and of course in the context of your fine tuning as per your own images, this diffusion process will work in that way. And there are a lot of use cases like image editing, text to image synthesis, image to image translation or even denoising and super resolution if you are looking to use this simple tuner for your own use case. Okay, so enough talk. Let me start the process. But before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mass Compute who are sponsoring the VM and the GPU which I'm going to use for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I would highly recommend that and I'm going to put a link to their website and a discount coupon which will give you 50% discount on an already discounted offering. Okay, so let's now go to my local system where we will start installing it. So this is a local VM open to 22.04 and I have one GPU card of 48 GPU of VRAM and you would need a good GPU for fine tuning a diffusion model. Let's we clear the screen. Also, I'm going to use Conda to keep everything separate from a local installation. So make sure that you have Conda installed as it will make your life really easy. Let me create a Conda environment by simply using simple tuner and it shouldn't take too long. And that is almost done. Let's activate it and step into that environment. Let me clear the screen. And now next up, let's git clone the repo of that simple tuner and i'm just simply using this git clone command and that is done let me cd into it and let me clear the screen if i show you the content of this there are a lot of helper scripts which you can check it out from there and then there are a lot of uh, python files and but you don't have to worry about all of them because all you need to do is to just install the requirements first. So let me clear the screen. And in order to install the requirements, make sure that you have Poetry installed, which makes it so easy to do this installation. So first up, I'm installing the Poetry by using this simple command. Let's wait for it. Should not take too long. And that is done. Let's install all the dependencies with Poetry by simply using the pip3 and Poetry pip. And that is going to install a few things that is already done. Great. Let me clear the screen. The okay, next up, we need to install PyTorch. So just simply run this command. This is going to install it from the source. And don't worry about this command. I'm going to put all of these commands in my blog and I will drop the link in video's description. Let's wait for it to finish. Torch is done. Let's also install Transformers, Hacking Face Hub, and Torch Vision and Torch Audio. Should not take too long now. And all of those prerequisites are also done. Let me clear the screen. And then you need to install some further prerequisites. So simply run poetry install dash dash no root and it is going to do some package installation. Let's wait for it to finish. And now let's grab our data set. I'm just creating a data sets directory here where I will be placing some of the sample data. You can use your own images. I'm just going to 
push this to directory stack and then i am just going to git clone a pseudo camera 10k images from github as i said you can use your own if you like and then i'm going back to the directory stack and then pulling it out so if you do the ls dash ltr on data sets you will see that now we have this data set uh, directory ready okay so our data set is ready we have installed the prerequisites now and now you need to prepare two files first file you need to prepare is this stxl-env.sh it should already be there in the repo if i open it into the vi editor this file should look like this and i will also paste it in my blog so that you can simply copy paste it so don't worry about writing it down so make sure that you have set stable diffusion 3 to true and then rest of the step will be same and then here i am setting model name to stable diffusion 3 medium and then uh, make sure that you already have set this validation guidance validation steps base directory is my home directory where i have git clone that repo and this is where i have placed my data set which we just downloaded and rest of the stuff is um, usual stuff where i'm not pushing it to hugging face hub and also uh, I'm not really using any van DP for any logging. So that's pretty much you just keep it as is default values. So I'm just getting it out of it. Another file which you need is this multi uh, backend, multi data backend.example.json. So make sure that you um, keep it as is again. So here I am just specifying my data set. And then nothing else really i'm also going to paste it in my block let me get out of here and then we also need to copy it something like multi data backend dot json just remove the example from here and that is done let me do a list dash ltr to make sure both files are there they are there so all the install pre-installation and configuration is done now in order to run this simple tuner all you need to do is to run this set script but before that make sure that you have changed the permission to this like ch mode to make it executable and once that's done you can simply do train stxl.sh and it is going to start it is it is going to download the model first and then it is going to start running it on the as per your own data set as you have just in. and you can see that it is downloading the model now so let's wait for it to get downloaded it is going to take a bit of a time so let's wait and it is going to start the training then it is also going to download our base model which you can see that the first tensor is around 5 gig and the second tensor is uh, i think similar size so afterward it is going to take like two to three hours depending upon your gpu card so you just have to be patient and then you will get your resulted model in the models directory in the same home page so it has started the training and it is going to take a couple of hours i guess so i will let it run but hopefully this was useful as i said don't worry about um the com uh, the commands which i have used i'm going to put them in my blog and i will drop the link in my video description let me know how you go if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching